you ever wondered where the coins in your pocket come from? Have you ever wondered who designs them? Have you ever thought you might be able to design them yourself? Well, this is the Royal Mint. It's where all our coins come from. But it's also more than that. The Royal Mint is the world leader in the production of commemorative coins and medals with a legacy that goes back over a thousand years. Now you have an opportunity to be part of that legacy. The Royal Mint is offering members of the public a fantastic opportunity. The opportunity to design a 50 pence coin to celebrate the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games that will forever be a part of that legacy. This is the Royal Mint Design Department where the visual appearance of our coins is developed and I'm off to see Chief Engraver Matt Bonacorsi. So Matt, tell me about the competition and how people can get involved. There's 29 sports in total that we're trying to depict. Now one of those is going to go to a competition run by Blue Peter. Uh, one is going to go to students at secondary schools and the remaining 27 are going out to the general public for people to, to get involved and, and design a coin that might turn up in their pockets or in their supermarket change uh, for years to come. And how do people submit their designs? Well, if you go on the website, there's mm -hmm. a downloadable template and it gives them the, the bits of the design that we want to, to keep in one place, which is the logo and the lettering. After that, it's entirely up to them. Uh, the closing date for the, the competition is the 24th of April. Post it back into us at the Royal Mint and we'll take it from there. And what sort of things are you looking for in the winning design? How is it going to be chosen? In terms of design, uh, keep it simple. Look at the size of a 50p, you'll, you'll see that the, there isn't a great deal of space on the finished coin. You've got all this blank area, but when it's down to coin size, it's not going to be very big. So be simple, be bold, uh, make sure that whatever sport you choose, whatever design you put on their shows, whether it's basketball or, or swimming, people can see exactly what that sport is. From the finished design, we'll then make a three-dimensional sculpture in Plaster of Paris. We scan that sculpture into a computer. Uh, we can then use it to shrink it down to the size of the coin and we produce a steel punch which shows all the detail of the coin in a, in a piece of steel. Now we'll work on that by hand, we'll hand engrave into it to make sure that all the detail is very crisp. What we get out of that at the end is a pair of tools called dies which will go into a press and actually stamp the finished coin out. The whole process takes about five or six weeks but we'll worry about most of the technical stuff when we get the designs in. Indeed, yes, it's a very intricate process but I'm certainly inspired and if you'd like more details you can visit the website www.royalmintcompetition.co.uk so where are we now? Well, Emma, we're now in the proof coin unit. The exciting thing about this competition is that you won't just see your coins out in the public. They'll also be available to buy in special presentation packs, a little bit like this one. So this is called a proof pack, isn't it? This is a yes. really a limited edition special pack that will be presented to each winner. Absolutely. It's, it's designed more for collectors. And they, they contain a coin that's struck to a much higher standard than the one that you find out in circulation. And this is absolutely beautiful, limited edition. Each winner also is presented with a gold coin of their design, correct me if I'm wrong, a thousand pounds. And apart from that, apart from the honour of having one of your designs circulating there as a coin, as one of the coins of the realm, it's just in your pocket, isn't it? You reach into your pocket, handful of change, there it is. That's it. That's the best thing about it, I think, is, you know, as somebody who enjoys designing and drawing, to have your work on a canvas seen by millions of people is, it doesn't get much better than that. Why is it so exciting for you as a member of the Royal Mint? I think it's exciting for us because this is the biggest public competition we've ever, we've ever had. You know, we're hoping to get a lot of input through this to tap into the ideals of the Olympics, which are you know, sort of uh, heritage and longevity and youth and involvement. How are the winners chosen? Well, all the initial designs will go in front of an independent committee that looks at all new UK coin designs. Now, usually these designs are by professional uh, designers and artists, but this time, of course, they'll be by members of the public. The shortlist from that competition and the winning designs will finally go to the Queen herself. So your drawing could be in front of the Queen in a few months' time. And, and that's part of this great legacy that the coin that you designed that may be out in the public for the next 40 years will have been seen and had the seal of approval by the Queen herself. Indeed, your winning coin will certainly have a legacy. And that is the sentiment that the London Organising Committee for the Olympic Games wholeheartedly agrees with. Here's committee member and Olympic gold medalist Jonathan Edwards. Our aim and ambition with 2012 is that it's going to be everyone's games and that everyone can take part in some way or another. And I think the 50p competition is one of the very obvious ways that people can do that. We want loads of people to enter, show us your designs. The more designs we get, the better chance we have of getting something which is absolutely brilliant. So go ahead and do it. Log on, design your 50p, send it in, and uh, I think we'll have something we can all be very proud of in 2012.